Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The next question I have received is it allowed to uh, hear a wife according to it says in Islam? So it, it seems like I'm, I'm not sure if this uh, if this question is from a Muslim or non Muslim. Somebody didn't mention a name. There has been a great misconception, um, not within a non Muslim, and also there's a great uh, misconception within Islam because uh, now what is the root cause of that people think that like you know your wife is your property your children is your property so you can do whatever you want you can hit them if they misbehave um even uh if your wife misbehave and uh, she has a bad manners you can uh you can hit her now l let me clarify this misconception islam does not permit of a hitting anyone because the way it, it is being uh, said uh, to hit, because the first of all, the word hit is not there. To hit is something like you bang someone or you slap very hard. It's like uh, basically what the Islam, what is the Quran, what is the, the Hadith talk about to, um, to how to correct your uh, wife and how to correct your uh, children is like for example um, if someone um, your wife makes a mistake and, uh, and the children make a mistake uh, the way to crack them is like you have to do like you know come on do this come on come on I, I tell you to do this come on this is the this is what is Quran talking about that the beating of, of like a toothpaste when you have like a toothpaste like come on come on do that do this now this does not mean you take a big rod in your hand and you take a big stick in your hand and you have punches and you have a boxing fight and you have start having a UFC fight at home. That is not what Islam talking about. Islam talking about to correct your wife with the, with the slightly like, you know, come on, please, you're my honey, you're my beautiful wife, come on, do this. This is the, what is it talking about to have a beat her or beat your uh, children like a lightest as a, as a toothpaste stick like a, like a miswak uh, it is the, the Quran and so now the Prophet Sallallahu does not uh, talk about to have um, a big fat thick stick and you hold in your hand and you have a UFC fight going on at home this is not the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi because if you read the 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 seer of the prophet we do not find any kind of an example where the prophet uh, in his life uh, he taught anyone uh, to beat your wife because one of the uh, in the hadith the prophet was uh, was being complained about the similar situation and uh, and the prophet just uh, stopped the sahaba from doing that and uh, because if the woman start doing that and uh, because it would be more uh, bad for the woman than the man because uh, as a naturally uh, the man has more power than the woman so woman has to be like I mean I in my other lecture I talk about that what is the root cause of that but I'm just gonna stick to the point uh, where the question is being asked if it is allowed to hit a wife it is not allowed to hit a wife and also the Prophet said even if you need hit uh, on a face or in your head it, it's like come on do this do this is that's what the Prophet is talking about and he said, come on like do this it's not like you take your hand and you slap really hard and the whole uh, face got red and uh, and and especially in, in America in in the UK I'm sure uh, nobody's allowed to do that because it usually happens in our back in our countries where uh, where there's no law where there's nothing but it, it's very helpful and it's a very good thing that in a, in countries like the UK and uh, in America, there's a very strict laws that uh, even the wife cannot hit, uh, abuse a husband, and the husband cannot um, abuse uh, his wife. So, in order, uh, they have to avoid the, uh, such a situations. They have to control, first of all, the aggressive behavior, and they have to control their anger that brings to that situation where the things got physical uh, into the physical fights. So the Islam does not teach uh, hitting a wife or hitting your husband or hitting your children or hitting anyone unless when it comes to something like a serious situation and uh, um, and still uh, the Quran or the 
uh, the Sunnah Prophet Sallallahu does not permit to hit your wife or hit your husband or your children. So we're basically they're talking about to have a slight hit like a toothpaste, like a miswack, like a toothpaste brush. When you hit it like, the, okay, come on, do that, do this, do this. This is what I, this I'm talking about. Let's come on, come on, do this. It's not like you have your punch and you just hit on your face, in, on her face, or hit on her head and take a stick and start hitting her. Because this is a, this is a much uh, misconception in, in many uh, Eastern countries like in uh, uh, Pakistan and uh, uh, in India, in Bangladesh, and I'm surely there's an Arab country also, and also there's an African country. So uh, we don't know about it since I'm from Pakistan. That's why I know uh, what's going on in the Pakistan. People usually uh, being uh, behave like an animal, mostly like men. They try to overtake over women, thinking like the woman is a slave and the wife is a slave and uh, the children are slave. They're not slave because all of them has an equal right. Because there's a beautiful ayah in the Quran and uh, Surah Qayyama from uh, well, verse number 33 to uh, verse number uh, uh, 36, where the Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "I will Allah min al-shaytan al-jinn, summa ramanin, summa zahaba illa ahlihi yatamatta, awla laka fa'awla, summa awla laka fa'awla, ayah sabul insan an yutraka suda." So uh, these are beautiful verses. We can understand that, and uh, Allah said to the person. Um, remember you uh, used to be like very arrogant uh, to your family and uh, now you're gonna suffer and now you're gonna suffer more uh, what were you thinking like nobody's watching you while you were behaving uh, like an arrogant with your family with your family members so Allah has given a very equal right to the husband wife children and everyone they have to live in a peace not that trying to the husband have to be uh, overtaking of the fam family there's also a uh, word in the Surah Nisa, and I believe it's a verse number 34, where, where uh, many people have a misconception of the words where it says, uh, where Allah says, uh, means Allah is, uh, a man is responsible uh, on their woman. So that responsibility is, does not mean to be over them. It's simply saying you are responsible uh, to take care of your wife or take your children and take care of your family members, it's your responsibility. It does not mean uh, she's your slave and uh, she's just your servant, she's your wife. Uh, you have a 50% right and she has a 50% uh, right and uh, in the house everyone has a right. So nobody has a right to be uh, take over other people in the house so when it comes to the hitting a wife that's something like a, a very far away question